Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's video, what I wanna run through with you is how to calculate tenure in Tableau. Uh, so I'm excited to dive in. Uh, the inspiration for this is some different uh, HR human resources projects that I've been working on recently. Um, I do have some bigger ideas in mind for some human resources related content about building headcount and termination dashboards and things like that. So if that's of interest to you, um, definitely let me know. You can go ahead and comment or message me directly, whatever works for you. Um, that would be helpful just to know if, if that's of interest to people that are watching this. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start with kind of some easier stuff around calculating tenure, and then we're going to get into, uh, into some more advanced ideas as well. So uh, the question at the top of this worksheet, how long have our employees been with us? Okay, so let me go ahead and put these people's hire date next to their names so we can see. So I just right clicked and dragged the hire date. And so you can see we've got a good mix, right? We've got people from 2020, 2021, 2019, 2018, all over the place. Okay. Um, so let's say I just want to know in just pure number of years, how long have they been here from when they started to today? Okay, so probably the most basic form of a 10 year calculation that I could think to create would be to go ahead and hit the drop down, create a calculated field. I'll call this years of service. And then uh, I'm going to use the date difference function. So I'm going to say, give me my date diff. And then I need to define my date part or my date unit. So that would be a year between the higher date. And I'm going to make an assumption right now, which we're going to tinker with later, which is that all of these people still work here today. So this is like an active headcount report, right? So I'd say, give me the date diff in years between the higher date and today. So the dynamic today function. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to put years of service. Uh, let's just put it on columns just to see what this looks like. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at a few of these values and see if we think these things make sense. Okay, so right now, as I shoot this video, it's October 2022. So this says this person who started in May 2020 has been here two years. Sure, sounds about right. This person who started January 2021 has only been here one year. Yeah, uh, technically true, although it's closing in on two years. This person who started January 4th, so they've started nine months ago. This person has been here zero years. True, they haven't been here a full year, but that kind of seems a little bit disingenuous, right? So let's go ahead and open up the calculation again and talk about this. The date diff function is very black and white. Um, what I mean by that is that Tableau is looking for when the unit that you are asking for changes. So if somebody started on New Year's Eve 2021 and they got terminated or they left or something on or whatever, or today, let's say today is January 1st. So they started yesterday, it was December 31st, it's now today. Tableau would say, oh, they've been here for one year because it was 2021, now it's 2022. Um, which is a, a weird way to think about it. Or you could have somebody that started the first day of the year, it's now the last day of the year, and Tableau would be like, they've been here zero years because the year hasn't changed yet, which is a little weird. So one of the ways that I like to tweak this, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate our original years of service calculation. One of the ways that I like to tweak this is by calculating in months and then dividing by 12, right? So I would say, okay, how many months has somebody been here and divide that by 12. Uh, quick side note, when you're typing in the date part, just make sure it's singular, lowercase, and in single quotation. Uh, if you don't, Tableau can be a little finicky about that. So let's see what years of service months looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and just change the default properties on this, uh, the number format, I should say. So that is just a custom number with one decimal place. Okay, so years of service month, that's going to go to the column shelf. And this is going to give us a bit more of some nuanced information, right? So this person, first person, Abron here, they've been here two years, but in actuality, they've been here 2.4 years. Or this person, Adams Middle, who is showing a zero years, actually, it's like 0 0.8 or 0 0.75, right? They've been here for three quarters of a year. So for somebody like, okay, that's not the best name. So let's pick somebody else. <laughs> Eileen, for somebody like Eileen, they, that doesn't really matter. Eight versus 8.1, not a big deal. But for somebody like Adams, yeah, that makes a big difference, right? Zero versus nearly a year, okay? So 
Let's go ahead and add another little twist to this. What happens if this is not all active headcount? Some people are current headcount and some people have been terminated or left or whatever. So we have a termination date. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a calculated field and I'm just gonna call this end date. And it's just gonna be as simple as this. I'm gonna say if null termination date comma today. Okay, so the today function's got a opening and closing parenthesis after it for whatever reason. But uh, so what this is gonna do is that if the person has a termination date, it's gonna use that. If they don't, then it's just gonna use the today field. So if I wanna go ahead and let's go ahead and see who has termination dates in this data set. Um, oh, Adams, come on, man. Maybe one of our examples here. This is probably a good one right here. So this person was here from May, 2019 to April 5th, 2021. So they did eh, just shy of two years uh, before they moved on. So I'm gonna go ahead, I, I guess I would need to edit both these calculations technically. Um, I'll go ahead and just edit, actually I'm gonna duplicate it. So you just got a bunch of these different options. Um, I'll say like with terms. So now instead of just using the uh, today function as the end part of our calculation, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use our end date. Okay, so let's see what kind of an effect this has. Uh, years of service with the terms included. So we go to Addy Braun, and that's much more accurate, right? So Addy Braun, yeah, was here just shy of two years at 1.9. So that's sort of my go-to move for incorporating a termination or an end date. And then the last thing I'll often get is how do I create buckets for these? So like this person's been here less than a year. This person's been here for more than two years, right? Um, those sorts of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a final worksheet here and I'll call this 10 year buckets. Um, I'll use that last calculation. Actually, let's do this. Um, this will be for active headcount only. So I'm gonna keep only people whose termination date is null. So I think if I choose, ooh, which is it, range of dates? I think there's a special option in here. Yeah, non-null dates only. So let's go ahead. Let's just make sure that that actually worked. So I'm gonna get my payroll name. All these people should not have a termination date. Wait, these people do have termination dates? Ah, oh, I did the wrong thing. Okay, hold on. Edit this. Uh, I kept non-null dates. Filter out the null dates. There we go. Those are our people that are still active. All right. Uh, so in case you need to do something like this, I went to special and I said null dates. So I presume that means it's, oh, I, I see. It's, it's just only keeping the null dates and getting rid of the non-null or the dates that add values. My brain's addled. All right, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and pull that off of here. Pull that, the payroll name off of here as well. I don't really have like an employee ID, I don't think. Let me double check that. Um, I don't, so I'm gonna use payroll name, which is, you know, use an ID if you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and drag payroll name to my column shelf. Why do I right click and drag? Ah, because I can just add the count distinct aggregation to this and get a count of the unique number of names in my data set. So I got a little over 1200. And now I'm gonna create my uh, 10 year buckets. So I'm gonna create a new calculated field. And I will say, all right, if the uh, years of service months, I'm, I'm not doing terms because I filtered those out. So if this is less than one, then, you know, less than one year. Maybe I'll just type it out. All right, then I'll say else, got to type it out right, else if years of service is, let's say, less than three, then, then, <laughs> uh, one to two years. Okay, and now I'm just going to start copying and pasting to speed this up a little bit. Let's say, otherwise, if it's less than five, then, you know, three to five years. I should probably call that one to three to be consistent. Uh, otherwise, if it's less than 10, then five to 10 years. Um, and then I'll just say whatever, else 10 plus years. Declose, gotta clean this up a little bit. All right, 
put this up here. Uh, quick side note while you're checking that out, I'm gonna drop a link to this Tableau workbook in the description. So if you wanna download this and pull these calculations apart, copy them, adjust them for yourself, uh, then you can do that. So I'll hit okay. I'm gonna, need to, I'm gonna drop 10 year buckets on the row shelf. And then it's mostly sorts in order, just the alphabetical one gets messed up. Uh, my recommendation would just be to change the default sort order so that you don't have to resort these every time you use this field. So if I go to 10 year buckets on my data pane, I hit the drop down. I'm gonna go ahead and go to uh, default properties and sort. Okay. And then I am looking for a manual sort. And I'm going to send the less than one year to the top. Everything else stays the way that it is. All right. So yeah, this starts to give us a bit of a sense for our workforce, right? So uh, there's a lot of people, maybe close to half that are, you know, one to three years, something like that. And then actually, a, you know, a pretty good contingent of people still that have been here for 10 plus years as well. So those are a handful of different thoughts when it comes to how to calculate tenure in Tableau. Uh, thanks for tagging along with this video. If you have questions, let us know. Uh, again, if you want more kind of human resources-esque stuff, let us know. I've got some more ideas in mind uh, that I can work on with that. So we appreciate you being here. Thanks for following along. Um, and we will have another video for you next week. Thanks.